All right, shalom, shalom, shalom. First off, and foremost as always, I want to say, call Hulayim La Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, or Chakwadash. I want to give double honors to the elder apostles, a great millstone that do rule and teach well. And of course, as always, I want to say, shalom to you, Anki and Maldera, that's pushing this truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahawa Chakwadash. Okay, so real quick, you know, I just wanted to, uh, you know, do a quick lesson, you know, for the lower sheep real quick, you know, and going really just this is a response to the Elder Paul Tahar's video uh, titled um, The Hopeful Year of Jacob's Trouble. OK, and, you know, that's what we hope for. OK, we hope that, you know, uh, that prophecy comes to pass. Because, hey, man, we want to get out of here, you know, before, you know, we're delivered, you know, all hell and chaos will have to be, you know, broke out, have to unleash, you know. So that's why, you know, we, you know, we will, uh, you know, we are excited to see the uh, deterioration and downfall of Babylon. OK. And um, yeah, man, you know, 2024, you know. The hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. Okay, so, <clears throat> so real quick, you know, I'm just gonna get you know a few precepts. You know, this is nothing. You know, I, I didn't have any precepts written down, so I'm just rolling the spirit. Okay, so starting off, <clears throat> let's get this real quick. Okay, this is the book of where is it at? Jeremiah, thirty. In verse 7, it says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. You see, so this is going to come up, be a time when, you know, there's no day like it. Okay, when, uh, you know, you're going to see all kinds of judgment, you know, cannibalism, you know, um, people in the, in the streets, you know, you know, just dead bodies lying everywhere, you know, just all, just all chaos you know judgments on every side you see and real quick let's get that quick precept this is the book of let me see this is the book of second edges okay let's see where is it at yep here you go second edges 16 and verse 39 it says it says uh even so, shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, right? The plagues, you know, the, the judgments, you know, that are, uh, you know, the, the judgments and and, and, uh, and scourges that are about to be sent here for amendments, okay, for corrections, you know, just, you know, just as the scriptures say, okay, you know, and people, they take what we're saying, which is prophecy, they take what we're saying lightly, you know, but keep in mind that this is the words of the Lord, you know, and, and we and we read, and we read the scriptures, you know, read books like Isaiah, you know, Jeremiah, you know, Ezekiel, you know, very prophetic books, you know, the book of Daniel, you know, and, and you know, and the Lord, you know, he speaks, you know, through his men, you know, and people don't realize that, you know, the message we're saying is, is the, the words of, of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, but because, you know, they just see us carnally and us, you know, being you know, just, you know, so-called regular men in their eyes, what they feel to realize that, hey, we're speaking of something that's going to come to pass very soon. OK, we're speaking of something that's going to come to pass in your lifetime, you know, but people you know they don't believe because, you know, things that's not happening right now because things may seem peachy and dandy. They think that it's not going to, you know, come to pass. OK, but the words of the Lord will not return unto him void. OK. And it says back in Second Edges 16 and 39, and it says, Even so shall the shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side, right? Sorrows, you know, distress and anguish, you know, and that's what's coming to this place. Let's get that real quick. Let me see if I can find it real quick. I think it's in the same chapter, actually. Let's see. Um Let's see, type is type in uh sorrows. Let 
All right. This is the book of. Oh, yeah. So it wasn't. Oh, uh, yeah. It wasn't the same chapter. OK, this is the book of Second Edge 16 and verse 18. It says the beginnings of sorrows and great mornings. You see, great mornings, you know, great sorrows, you know, and, and, and that and that's what the great that judgment is going to, you know, bring out people, you know, you know, um, people sorrowing and being in great sorrow, you know, being in great despair, you know, being in uh, great anguish. OK, mornings. <laughs> All right. People are going to be, um, you know, in a great state of distress. OK, you know, and 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 hey, man, you know, that's why, you know, the, the time is right now is to get right with the how about Shemal Shai. That's why it says, you know, wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of thy times because we're, you know, getting, you know, uh, prepped spiritually. <laughs> OK, now, like like uh, the brother. You know, that was uh, he was recently up here with us. The brother, the beloved brother Malak, you know, from Detroit camp. He uh, was recently camping with us and he he was like he made a statement. He's like, you know, it don't matter how many pushes you do, how many miles you run. You know, you, you know, if you're not, you know, uh, uh, prepared spiritually, you know, if, if you don't have the name of the Lord, then you are through. You see so people right now, you know, they're just, you know, food. They're just sitting ducks, you know, because. They think that uh, the things that they gain is going to save them, okay? But a lot of people are going to perish in the day of judgment, all right? So we have to be, you know, uh, 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 prepared spiritually to, you know, uh, withstand that day of uh, evil, you know? That's why, you know, we have to have faith in Yahweh Bashma Shai that we shall be protected, you know, which, which leads me back to, all right, which leads me back to Jeremiah. Uh, 37 this is ready one more time and it says at last for that day is great so that none is like it it is even the time of jacob's trouble and who's jacob it's the so-called negroes latinos and native american indians you israelites okay and also to you and also to you uh, israelite foreigners that may look like the uh the heathen nations but your your, your uh, bloodline okay your seed it goes back to the abraham isaac and jacob you see so and it says but he shall be saved out of it. Who is the he? The elect. Okay. And, they, and, and real quick, I just wanted to emphasize on, you know, Jacob's trouble, you know, the Jacob's trouble part, you know, two thirds, man, you know, two, you know, two thirds of our people, you know, the, the, you know, they're content here and comfortable. And soon the Lord is going to take them out of that, of their comfort zone, you know, and that's why the, this word is meant for the Israelites. But, you know, two thirds of our people aren't going to receive it. So that's why they're going to get judged on this side, you know, because they decided not to repent. You know, just like in the book of Jeremiah, you know, the majority of the book of Jeremiah, you know, he's rebuking, you know, uh, 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 Jake because of the wickedness. It's just like today, you know, we're we're rebuking, you know, these wicked as Israelites, you know, you know, the ones in the truth and the ones not in the truth because of their wickedness and their their sinful deeds. You see, but us, you know, us, you know, hopeful servants of the Lord, us hopeful elect. That's why we're repenting, you know, taking accountability of what we've done. You know, and, and being contrite, being humble, sincere, you know, and doing our best to be in the good grace of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Okay. And it says, but he shall be saved out of it. Who is the he? Like I said, the elect. Because the elect, you know, they're going to be the ones protected and, and shielded, you know, during the time of trouble. You see? And people right now, like I said earlier, they, they think that because it's not happening, that, you know, it's the, the prophecy is not going to come to pass, you know? But keep in mind that we're not on our own time. We're on the Lord's time. You see? So, you know, people, hey, man, keep thinking what you're thinking. You know, keep doing what you're doing. And just know that prophecy will be, you know, fulfilled. You know, and then they're going to uh, realize that prophets have been among them. You see? Because, you know, like I stated earlier, things may seem peachy and dandy, but it's going to get, you know, gruesome and gritty out here. Okay? Real quick, let's get this. This is a First Thessalonians five and verse. I get to the point, verse three, and it says, "For when they shall, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden, then sudden destruction, okay, sudden destruction, comes upon them, as it fell upon a woman with a child, and they shall not escape." You see, so the destruction, 
you know, all hell's going to break loose, you know, then people are going to be caught with their pants down. You see, you know, a two thirds, you know, the uh, the uh, the heathen. OK, they're going to get caught off guard by privacy, you know, and we hope that, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, Jacob's trouble, you know, does come to pass, you know, this year. Because last year, 2023, which was a couple of days ago, it was deemed the hopeful year of the prophecies come to pass. And guess what? A lot of prophecies, you know, became manifest, you know, and started to increase. You know, the prophecy of the MOTB, World War III, you know, uh, uh, more pestilences, you know, earthquakes in diverse places, you know. So things are ticking up, man. All right. And that's why, you know, we hope that Jacob's trouble happens this year. Because if that happens, man, and hey, every power, you know, then everything is, is, is going to follow suit, you know, just just like the Apostle Tahar said, once that that MOTB comes, hey, everything is going to just fall in place and, it, and, and it's going to be quick. It's going to be like a uh, like a, a prophetic, you know, chain reaction, if you will. OK. And real quick. Let me get this last precept. All right. This is the book of 2nd Edges 6 and verse uh, 19 I quoted earlier. It says, Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment, right? Meaning correction, okay? And people are going to be corrected because of the wickedness because they don't want to turn to Yahweh Bashima Shai, you see? But just know that uh, soon people are going to be, you know, wishing that they, that, that they got right with the Lord you know now instead of you know awaiting the last minute you know trying to get right later you see that's why right now the time to get this word while it's hot because soon it's going to be a fan with the word and then people are going to be you know searching for this word man you know so hey man just you know stay in your watch you know keep pushing keep enduring you know and just you know just uh you know just continue to you know, pray to y'all about Shema Shai that, you know, in these last times, these, these last days, you you continue to uh, keep striving for, you know, for perfection and, you know, for uh, 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 salvation, you know. So with that being said, I just want to say, call Lame La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kagodash, double honor being to the other apostles, the great millstone that do rule and teach well, and Lord's will, the Lord's sheep was edified. With that being said, Shalom.